we now return. And this time in full screen, which is going to make text easier to read. Oh, gee! Was that a yellow one? Oh, there's a yellow one down there. It must be in a harder difficulty. I see that I made the transition here a bit more clear. But around that corner, there's nothing. But I try to give the illusion of a seamless world. Like you somehow turn around the corner. It magically became sunset. And this is perhaps the only Doom hack I'll make where I don't take away your weapons after every level. Because trust me, the reason why I do that is pretty obvious. I take away your weapons after every level because I don't actually, uh, you know, want to have to test it. Or, I don't want, like, the person to have Yoshi. Then they go to another level, they still have Yoshi, and they break the whole level like I'm doing right now. Instead of starting off with your pistol. Which at least I still made useful, even at, whenever you have better weapons. Once I get flat me over there, you go... Slide into the wall. Also, do you see these? Sonic rings! They, they, in fact, the cool thing is, in today's Sonic games, the, well, the, the ring sound doesn't go between the speakers. But on the older Genesis games, it did, and I never noticed that. So here I make it go between the speakers, and I got a really high quality version of the sound. Which, if you're curious, I actually got from the, I think the anniversary theme of, you know, Sonic Generations when it starts up. It's technically I just had the soundtrack, I didn't actually own the game back then. Oh, Jeep! It's like he killed me at me saying I didn't own Sonic Generations. It's like, die! I was on the edge. Oh yeah, and Cyber Demon found this out the hard way, but you can't enter from the front door. Error, no valid ID. Self-destruct activated. Ah! Zoom was carelessly committed suicide. <laughs> it says that for everything, even when you don't get killed by suicide. Just why would you commit suicide after getting self-destruct? <laughs> you would probably get blown up by the explosion. You know, there is no explosion. The script only kills you, because it kills you at the exact same time. Also, Cyberdemon had a lot of trouble with these jumps right here. Obviously, I seem to have as much trouble as Cyberdemon. And before, I was better than Cyber Demon at this game, I think, because I was able to get through my levels with no problem. Nowadays, I get through them, but it takes me a long time just like Cyber Demon. And Cyber Demon obviously wasn't good at my Doom hack, so obviously I think that I'm now just as bad at it as Cyber Demon. I mean, not to like sound like I'm offending Cyber Demon constantly, but, you know, insulting him, but I think that I've gotten lower in skill level now. I'm literally not as good now. I'm more like Cyber Demon when he went through my act. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh. I don't have regenerating health anymore. Now it's not Call of Duty anymore. This is Doom. Doom. Well, obviously, make you realize why regenerating health is almost a good thing. Because in Doom, if you're low on health and you get hit, and there's no health nearby, too bad, you're dead. <laughs> Sheep! Uh, oh no! I don't want to lose the health, because now I know I don't have enough bow! There's a cup down here. If I was lower on health, it would feel like you drank it and then threw the cup away or something. That's because I have an obsession with cups. Other people's cups. Also, there's a funny glitch right here, I think I remember. If you wait until he's right underneath you and then you drop, he like flies around. Yeah, look at that! Look at that! Look at it! Look at that! He literally kills himself, basically. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. That's way too funny. Oh, I jumped over the hole you're supposed to not be able to fly over. Oh! Well, then again, that happens usually every time I try to play it legitimately. <laughs> There's lots of rings here. Get ready for a lot of high pitched stinging noises. And there's those things that did the impossible. And hey, Princess Bubblegum, why aren't you trying to. Wait, I forgot she talked! Princess Bubblegum, I want to hear you! But in order to hear Princess Bubblegum, it's like you have to make sure you're not doing let's play commentary. 
these bitches all gone. You got that right. But the science is not in your umbrella. And why the store open? Is the angry hammer around here? I thought that he wasn't here. I thought he had glitches. Saberty... Well, what Saberty even went through then again, he wasn't there. Oh my, why'd the sky suddenly brighten up? Why can I see perfectly all of a sudden? <laughs> Let's do this stealthily. BOOM! Ha! Ah, oh. No! My cover's been blown! Follow the rings! The rings were added for a reason. Oh, I thought that if you dropped onto the grass, you died. Or at least you completed the level. Luckily, that doesn't happen anymore. So, here's where Cyber Demon first got lost. You may wonder where you're supposed to go. Don't turn back to the surface, hold space while you touch the ground. Cyber Demon had problems with that. You made DK angry! Fear of DK begins now! Oh, great. Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong? Why did I make you angry? The fear of DK, I didn't want to go back there. Fear of DK is a bad place. Why do you stare at me in every ball? Oh no. Oh, I can't make him appear. No! That means I can't have his fear. Also, these lights, they're pretty impressive despite their glitchy textures. They actually look kind of nice. They have like these little glowy lens flares. In a lot of these graphics, if you played Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, you'll recognize the graphics. Even though Raven says don't rip these textures, I don't know why, but I decided, yeah, these graphics are so good, I'm gonna rip them. Cause what else am I gonna use this game for? So I think, so where's the exit? It's... It's over there. For some reason, I was checking this wall because originally there was like this little square thing right here. It was like right along this wall, like right here where my thing is, and you had to fall in the hole and that completed the level. Not anymore. Nowadays, all you have to do is just go across that wall. Cyber Demon didn't know this, because my level design is not straightforward. Oh, I'm gonna do this stealthily. Yo, 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 it's here! Yo! Now I know if I'm gonna get the box of bullets. Energy cell pack. I think that kills me and What? Look at that! Look at the wall texture! It's like it has a whole mirrors effect on it. Let's go down here and get ready for the best music in this hack to play. Seriously. It's awesome. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I need to force it to change. Uh Fethero! This is an awesome song! This is Feather from F-Zero GX! I think I heard it in one of my dreams. That's the awesome part. When I heard this in my dreams, I think I really just... I think that when I heard it in my dream, I actually just sat there and listened to it. Because this song is so good. <laughs> Too bad I have to shoot people over it. <laughs> this is the seizure room. If you're curious why I said the seizure room, it was originally way faster. I slowed it down. I think if I use these keys, I can actually speed it up. If I mess around with the user keys, I can speed it up. Yep, I'm speeding it up! And here it is! This is probably what the original seizure room was like. See this? It's a seizure room! But there's a reason why I dumbed down the seizure effect. But it is still a seizure room. Also, see this wall? You need a yellow card to open this door. How do you get it? I think I didn't just pick up a ring right there. You have to go through this crusher room. Which is unpredictable, there's no pattern to those things on the ceiling. They fall at random, which means they can crush you at any second. It could be another jump scare. Now, where are those body pictures? <laughs> that would fit so nicely, I could crush one and then And then the screen goes fuzzy and then, and then game over pops up on the screen. some walls out there. Let me just prove it. I know that there are some uh, walls out here, see? Mm -hmm. Apparently I was originally able to see them. I can't see them. I don't know what happened, but I think that now I'm unable to see them. I can see them when the menu comes up, but that wasn't what I meant. Now 
you can see them, but now it looks gray. I want to see what I have to do. You can still not see them. It. This is where Cyberdemon said this isn't what a rail gun looks like. Where is it? There it is. This isn't what a rail gun looks like. And why's the song cut out? I thought I looped it. obvious? Guess what? This is just like the Doom ambushes. Yeah. Basically a bunch of random enemies like Jiraki. This creepy thing from the Game Boy camera. And no, I bet you're thinking Zane. The creepy things from the Game Boy camera, aren't those those creepy looking black and white pictures? Yeah, those are the things that everyone else finds creepy and I agree is creepy. But this thing is also creepy. It's like, what is it? A dog with a stitched mouth? It also can re resurrect people just like well, the art trial. Why was I unable to rotate? Also, I find that broom cute. It's from, like, I don't know, one of the bubble bobble games. It's so awkward saying that we're used to them being, like, the Busta Move games or whatever. Well, you know, the, 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 obviously they came from bubble bobble, but. It's like this, uh, Dranko, Super Dranko, I think that's her name. She's cute. Of course, I guess, she had a doll, I'd get it, but, yeah, obviously, she's cute. And I don't know why I stuck her in here, except for to throw those beer things at you. And why is something blowing me away constantly? Oh no, oh no, die, 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 oh, Pikachu. Pika, Pikachu! Oh, uh, I don't know who to kill first. Cyberdemon just ran away, I'm not running away from this battle. Oh, I think I'm gonna take out everything in this room first, but some kid's blowing me away from the room, you know. I'm trying to get in. <laughs> Seekers! Yes! <laughs> I have to kill the Pikachus. Pikachu die! At least faint. I have to take down these things, and I hope I just saved in the right position. So I'm gonna have to get out of here, and oh no! Game Boy camera thing, get out of here. You turn into an arch file. That's why I want you to die and melt. Because it says he melts when he dies. Ah, oh, there, but they left me at very low health. Don't get to survive. He just melts into the ground. It's kind of disgusting. Oh no! Mercenary of hell. That's kind of weird. The mercenary of hell is moving at normal speed. If y'all watched that older video I made, the set, the, well, the Mercenary of Hell actually runs at really high speeds, and he hits you at really high speeds. But I slowed him down here, now he runs at slow speeds and even gives you one whole second of warning before he goes hitting you. You can tell I did that to every one of them that could cheaply kill you, except for Pikachu and those guys. They have a very short time before they start shooting you. Which means... Let's just hope you're able to find a good gun to take on these guys with. Boom. This means you probably can get him caught in like a hit stun or whatever they call it. Ah! Die. Die. I can't get in that 
room waiting to kill me. But I know what's in the other room waiting to kill me. Oh, this chief! Die! Die! No! I forgot he came back to life! See, I forgot! I forgot that he, like, Dawa, comes back to life! I don't want to waste all my health! It's very easy to die in a Doom game, I shouldn't be here. I think I'm spoiled by today's games. Today's games where you have regenerating health, I think I'm spoiled by them. I mean, I still wonder how people who have played today's first-person shooters expect to play Doom. Your character runs way faster, doesn't have limited sprint, which I prefer, and the bad news, they don't have regenerating health. That might be a good thing, but the bad thing I have about Doom is, I don't know how in Doom you're expected to survive when you're down to like 10 health. It's like the game is like, you're the one who messed up, dude, I'm not bringing your health back, good luck. It just leaves you to die with 10 health. At least in Hexen they give you these little pickups, but still, if you're bad enough at the game, like I bet that, uh, I bet that Dark Side Vilgar would be really bad. I thought Vilgar 13 Bitch was a bad guy. No! Dark Side Phil is really bad. He just doesn't know how to do basic game mechanics. <laughs> That's how bad he is, I I'm not as bad as Dark Side Phil would be at this. He'd be lost by now. <laughs> Of course, then Cyber Demon got lost. But then again, Cyber Demon is. He's a demon from hell who normally only shoots people. It's pretty amazing, he knows how to play Doom. <laughs> and has to kill himself at one point. You know, because Cyber Demon has to play Doom, he has to shoot a Cyber Demon, so he has to shoot himself. That's strange. I want to pick up all these rings! If you get too greedy, they're gonna come down and crush you around your head. It's like how I mentioned in the racing game. It's that I feel like karma tries to get me every time I try to risk myself doing a race. It's exactly the same here. I'm gonna go get that. Oh, cheap! No, dude, you can't save your dead life. <laughs> You do the same pattern inside of the save file, so you can probably predict that. You have to go really fast because you have to hit the switch. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Here's where the awesome music ends, though. It's perfect if only it stayed faded out longer. Now you now reach this. Step off and. All of a sudden, the lights go out! You didn't even notice it became brighter, did you? Doom 2, what? I totally changed the music, that's exactly why. Yes, X. Use your two. <laughs> now the tricky part is you have to walk along this force field. You have to go right through a bush, jump over here, this is where Cyber Demon messed up. Go through here, go through uh, what looks like dynamic loading area. I mean, nothing. You didn't notice that little jump. And now we have to jump onto this airplane. Let's do this! I was 99%. Kills 100%. Secrets. 33%. And I'm taking 29 minutes. Air protection! This is what you saw in the demo. I jumped onto the airplane as it lifted off the ground, into the sky, set en route to a place I thought wasn't taken over by hell yet. Hell knew where I was going and began attempting to shoot my ship out of the sky. Damn! I had to defend the ship throughout the whole flight, or I'd be dead meat in the cloth. Literally, this game, this hack, it literally basically does what Doom did with its little intermission screens. It takes it up to 11 because... Every level has an intermission screen. That's what I kind of like. I don't like how I skipped over the first one because trust me, the first one was kind of, you know, it was kind of funny to see it get typed out and I read it. But then again, I wasn't able to read that one. I don't think I would have done that good on it. So anyways, you have to run around the airplane and shoot everything out of the sky. Every few seconds, stuff pops up out of nowhere. I could have made it fade in, but oh no, and also there's a bad lighting effect thing. Uh, these annoying things reappear, yet again. Make them fly out there onto the, the ocean that we're going over. 
I think your ammo automatically, all your ammo automatically regenerates in this level, which means I can just spam this all day. This is fun. So this is what I'm talking about, regenerating health, regenerating ammo. I can, I can play Doom regenerating ammo. It's easy. It's like, how worse have I become at Doom now? I need regenerating ammo to play correctly. And it fades out because it's a midi! This level, oh, the enemies are getting hard. Use the rail gun. You know, you didn't get into rail gun game. And here's where you get to spam the rail gun. Now the problem is the rail gun doesn't regenerate fast enough, so you actually have to wait because get this, the rail gun takes out 100 of your cells every time you shoot it. And this is what Cyber Demon did the whole game. He literally got in here and then he died for himself. This is also the level you might recognize that one Z Doom Bug video where it showed me using different skins. In fact, this hack was the one I used. And it's obviously the same version I have right now. I wish I was given fast health. Not like fast health, but uh, fast ammo. The weapons on this level. It already has fast ammo. Having fast weapons would be even better because then I would actually be able to just. Spam rockets on everything, that'd be so fun. I think at the end of the let's play, I should come back here and literally show you just how fun it is. You kind of have to watch out about the flying things, they literally come right towards you. Basically, have to be cheap and hide in there. Oh no! Go, lost soul, die. Ah, uh, this sounds like something out of an action movie because you know I'm taking him down. Why am I not dying? That's kind of itchy. I literally can't die. I thought it was just because Cyber Demon turned on invincibility. Cheating Cyber Demon, but no. Literally, you can't die jump off that edge. Too close to a Kaggle Demon. I thought it was that weird thing beside me that was killing me. I think you're trying to kill a Kaggle Demon right now. Alright, oh, oh, Lost Soul died. Killing Lost Souls as soon as they can. No, I don't die. Die! Die! Woo! Woo! Die! Now I act when, uh, when something I feel that is kind of gonna make me die happens. Like if something happens with my lungs or something. Die! Die! Oh, soul! You kill me! out there now, I can't go out. Boom! Oh, cheap. Boom! Oh, yeah! No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
rockets kill! <laughs> That's why you always have to watch out when you have this opening, because they always lower to get right near you. You don't want to lose all your health by doing that. <laughs> Die! Run! Ah! I made the Lost Souls very hard. They're very easy to kill. It's not all the health they do, but if they kill you a lot, then they're not going to get that much health. Die, Lost Souls! Die! Just kicking out is enough to make a few of them come down. Die, lost soul! Die! Oh my, oh my. I wish I really had a bit. Yeah. I don't want them to just cuss like the same word that is used in every one of the intermissions so far. Like I need to sound edgy, so I need to do Oh no, the two you overcome! They're taking over the ship! No, get over here, no! Hey, there's nine seconds left, game. Air protection! Finish! 26% kills, that's cheating! The item's 100%, the is 100%, the par is 335, I got 345. It's a chain game! Programmer Tiki's too mold. Here's After I thwarted Hell's plans, I landed in front of an ancient tomb where the dead rest in peace. I sighed in relief when I entered to see no Hell spawn in sight. When I fell through down a trap door into the depths of the stone structure, I saw what I was trying to hide from monsters. I quickly reached for a gun and armed it, prepared for the bloodbath that would result from it. So now he's good news that you might take. If you tear her from you, my tomb, I will have to kill you. So leave me. I feel like that requires some reading for me. Who dares enter my tomb? If you dare go further into my tomb, I will have to kill you. So leave no So anyways. That whoever just said that to us is gonna die for telling me I can't come in. Don't you just hate when you're not allowed? Don't you hate when you're not allowed to enter a place? Forever! What? Shane, I'm trying to hear what the weird guy is saying. Shane <laughs> guy. That's like Doom will recognize that this is the Waltz of the Demon song. I'll tell you, try to get near these things and they kill you! <laughs> so, see those laser beams? You'll have to find a way to, to deactivate them. Good luck finding that, Zane. You will find that forever! And yeah, before you ask, it's right here. I figured no one would find that, because no one ever does. Also, what's that weird looking blue thing? It looks like it was made in Corfax. <laughs> you have to go in here. Oh my, well, that looks like a trap to me. Real? Are those things on the ground? Hmm. They look kind of strange. They look like they're hard headbands. Did I get those from that Franklin episode? Which I also made one of them, but uh. I kind of got destroyed over the years. Kind of sad because I like the hard headband. But hey, Princess Bubblegum, hey PB. We've got science on our side. We've always got science on our side. Roar. You always say that. Roar. Roar. Because I guess you know it's true. But Princess Bubblegum, uh, despite how cute you are in that cute looking outfit, bad news, Princess Bubblegum. It's time to do this uh, Oblivion style because you know, it zooms in on the face. There's bad news then. Because I can't take your umbrella. I already have your umbrella. Don't I? Oh, there it is. See, and I can fully hit you with it and blow you away with it. Oh, great. The door is glitched on the inside. I think that it technically makes the ceiling lower, which is not what it's supposed to do. But one time, I got a bunch of monsters in here, they, and they actually tried to look, open the door. And when they did, it made the whole ceiling pop down. It's so weird. Shotgun? 
I've got super shotgun. I'm gonna use this super shotgun. But how do I lower that? Oh yeah, I think I have to go down here. Into a tree! With um, little torches in the walls. Well, this is where things get kind of challenging. Because I remember, there are those, uh, you know those slimy things? Blobs? Guess what? They're in here! And those things... I'm gonna kill them with a face off! I need to get ready ahead of time, though. Can you use a rocket? Like, you say that, that moving his hands like that kills him. What? Gargoyle! Thought your names were heretic gems. <laughs> of course, that's clearly just their internal name. Do we need something way better in the final game? Die! Oh. Oh no! 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 I set there up the trap, didn't I? Roar! Roar! Why can't I roar at you anymore? It's like, when y'all make noise, I'm too scared to roar at you. Roar! Roar! Oh no! Oh no! That must have gonna kill me. You're my foe. Foe? That's actually a cheap foe, you know? It's the big blue one. That one's hard unless you have to have something to take it on. I'm not sure about it. Oh! I think I'm gonna do this. Save module! Don't say save module. Die! Yeah. Oh, shades! That was reckless and I kept on suicide. Who wants the game that she right? Oh, 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 oh. That's the way to say it, the way I pitched. This is just so angry. But then again, this backwards. What? How come I did that time and it didn't summon them? They're cheap. That's not what I'm expecting. Now I'm gonna make sure they don't die. <laughs> I thought I just crashed the game again. I'm saving. <laughs> what? Now that thing comes out? Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my! Now that right there was like a jump scare. That thing came out behind me. It's a doom equivalent of a jump scare. Because the door opened behind me unexpectedly. I kind of like when the game does its own form of jump scares. Not predictable ones like Final of Freddy's. Die! Red Faced Angel! That's red face, but I don't think it's to be a demon or a devil or something. <laughs> I mean, you know, the stereotypical, if they're all red and they have a pitchfork, they're a demon. Now with those two keys, I can open this door. And I can get on top of a sword-shaped thing and pick up the diamond sword. You wield the diamond sword. Watch for criticals. Time to use the diamond sword! Even though, just like Minecraft, there's no hand grabbing a hold of it. Notch, you think you could have made a little blocky arm grab a whole bit? Oh well, look, it's Heavy's arms, I mean nothing. You gain the ability to punch with power. Boom! Boom, it's screen flash. You know, it takes a few seconds time. So let's enter here and... Programmer Tiki, 6,000, not 6,000. So you're the one who's, who's the one that did that. You, you're the one who entered. Yeah, I'm the one. Program Artiki, I know your name! You, get ready to die! I'll show you a Pokemon music! This actually drains my bullets! Why? And Cyber Demon is confused about why you're fighting this guy. You're fighting this guy because he is the one who, who, who stands in your way to get out of his, uh... He's very weak to explosives. This is why explosives kill him so much. Wait, do I have a grenade launcher? Yes. Wait, I think that the grenade launcher has an alternative fire where it acts like the grenade launcher and the 007 agent under fire. It doesn't? No! Glitchy hand burning! I'll kill you for making my glitchy hands come out of thin air! <laughs> you sound very glitchy, programmer TV. Die! Die! Oh, you turned 
Too lazy to add an exclamation mark. And here's the disturbing part. He actually moans every few seconds and makes the ground shake. Rawr! 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 He basically moans because you killed something that's really supposed to be dead. Anyways, if she can't be picked up, fix it. What? 
I'm used to six being Yoshi. It's seven for some reason. I need to pick up every ring in the level. I think the item percentage is the rings percentage. And I think Tiki here made it impossible to get 100. He's like, if you took me down, you can't get this last ring. Tiki, you can't even get another ring. They're trying to neutral Benjo. If he cheats, I have to cheat. Let's see if I can find the script for getting a ring on Cube 255. Ah, he's talking from the dead. There! <laughs> We got the rar, ring! Rar, rar, rar. Now let's get every other ring in the level and get 100% completion. Yeah, that's very important. Just like in a Metroid game, we get 100% completion. Oh, what does this button do? Programmer's take, Programmer take his tomb, finished! 100% kills, 99% items, 100% secrets. And it took me 6 minutes. Now, the destroyed tomb, wait what, it's not even destroyed yet. Oh my, after knocking over the giant tiki made in the programmer's visage, I climbed the rock pile that grew in the tiki circle, which I did. I pushed the button on the switch and turned around to see the hallway began shaking violently. Bam! I better start running! Oh. Oh! Cyber even messed this up big time. Kind of embarrassing. Oh, that rock fell! Oh my, why is the ceiling collapsing? Oh no! No! The girl's collapsing! No! I fell into the next part of the level. <coughs> oh my god! Oh! Welcome underneath the water, which means she won't even be able to talk correctly. Yes, this will be easy with the two of us. Oh, it'll be the easy with the two of us? Heh, <laughs> Princess Bubblegum. You want to get uh, married to me? No, I go with Finn only. Uh, fine. I have other girls. So, um, two these things? Ah, glitch. That's not how you're supposed to do it. But using Sonic Trampolines to their own cells? I wish I would have fixed that. And go down. I'm also using the voxels pack. I think I should have to find out who originally made those voxels because they did a good job at turning the Doom items into 3D. But something I still wonder though. Does that go all the way down? I mean, I know, up there there's a door. That's the door that Cyber Demon couldn't find. It's the exit to the level, but you need the yellow card to open. So you're going to have to go around here, and let's do the Sonic Stop. Boom! Up here. You did the impossible. And I got a tiara because of it. So it's fast. We're now on Mario Party 9 Beta. With the Star Wars Stolen Sky again, I mean, nothing! <laughs> and also, here's a weird thing. You can actually shoot the fireballs. I forgot all about that. Whenever one of them shoots a fireball at you, you can shoot the fireball. They make it explode in the air, which means if you're shooting at one and they choose to shoot at you, as you can tell, he actually got hurt because I hit his fireball. This is interesting little gimmicks that you'll probably never see used in an actual level. Fine. Oh, you're gonna kill me. Now here, you can only choose one or the other. Yoshi or what's on this side? Uh, Pete. Um, that thing. I'm gonna take this thing. Now, when you go in there, that's not blocked off. Lag. Lag probably because of 
three to no, not three to three eleven. I have to remember. It's kind of embarrassing. I forgot the band's name right there. Three eleven. Which I think is so I made like a song Guitar Hero World Tour thing. At least it's one that appeared in there. Oh! Ha! The world is doing fireball. It's pretty satisfying when that match is out there. The world Demir. Super shotgun. I'm gonna take the super shotgun. And it looks just like it did in Doom, but when you pick it up, it's not like Doom 2 at all. Also, let's kill these guys while we're in here. Boom! Oh, baby! Was he talking to his girlfriend before he died? <laughs> He's like, buddy. No, I wanna get the rocket launcher. Wasn't it worth the following? And wait, was that green thing I saw in there? Wait, what? The normal Doom shotgun? Why do I have the normal Doom shotgun? This is supposed to be its replacement. Hmm. Ah! Switch ahead as an ammo refill machine. <laughs> you take the good ammo unless you don't actually need it. Be worth it, it's in its limited uses. I'm not sticking my name in there just to make like some Mad Libs dialogue. If I should do it, so it does that. <laughs> so I don't want to read it anywhere. I feel like there's a chance of doing it though. Ah! Ha! Made it! Broke the level. I wonder if it means I can break the level. And I can get both! Oh, there's a force field! My little design is so bad. So anyways, you have to follow these paths exactly. You don't die if you go off of them, but why do I have these paths here if I'm not going to use them? Come back to life because all of his guts went straight in the air. So, why is this door closed so fast? Watch the map and you'll understand how I did this. We just did a seamless transition. Or should we say, dynamic loading fake? I wish that there was dynamic loading in Doom. That'd be awesome because I'd be able to fake dynamic loading. And see that little rail? You have to do parkour onto it. <laughs> I don't even remember this area. There's dark areas. Don't they kill you if you try to go into them? No, there's a force field around them. If you put a force field around them, it'd be cool to have like this little death effect when you try to go into them. Mm -hmm. This is probably why I now take the items away from the person, so they'll have a reason to go and get them. Now, of course. We now have to get up there. We want to get up there? We have to go into the parkour section, literally. Parkour, not like Mirror's Edge parkour or anything. It's parkour, as in going across trees. And follow the path and find the key. Search the whole forest. <laughs> Somewhere, it's on one of these paths. <laughs> one of them leads to a parkour area. Ah, oh, it's probably right here. No. Boom! Stay on top of the trees and try parkour when possible. The key is on top of the tree, not far from this tree. It actually is kind of far, but through the Doom's light system, you sometimes can see it. And these trees are unrealistically stuck together. Unlike every other tree in the forest, which, uh, suspiciously don't look as good. I wonder what happened to those other trees. <laughs> parkour, no! Film parkour. They've been falling off building mirror's edge. Try it again. 
whole star thing is apparently representing a parkour. Uh, I'm gonna do some more parkour. Mm, parkour, no! Failure, parkour. Or, I might say on the melee. Failure, You know, it's your Smash Bros. melee. Whenever you fail something, this, that, then that's just failure. And then they go, oh, in the background. <laughs> what was that to include? Oh! Parkour now. Um, parkour! Rawr, 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 rawr. There! That's what Cyberdemon forgot. It's like, sometimes I wonder how Cyberdemon forgot that. But then again, I bet if I didn't remember a single rawr. bit about the souls, I would be lost too. Guess I can't blame Cyberdemon. That's who is my boss from hell. And it's not like Gensaw the man himself, rawr. I mean, really. He's literally pictured as a Cyberdemon, so he is a Cyberdemon using YouTube. Rawr. Next level transition. level I made for Cyberdemon. 100% did it perfectly. Almost an hour of gameplay, really. The giant cup? Oh yeah! I continued deeper in the underground tunnel. Not sure what I reached. I saw a light. I thought it was too early to see any light at the end of the tunnel. But I was wrong. It was the end. But I couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> I heard monsters. So I knew I had the right direction. Also, does that symbol look familiar to any Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy players? So anyways, that was the end of the demo for Cyberdemon, but I had made more levels, including one for Terry. You know Terry, the um, guy that made infamous Max, where he rapes you? Yeah, it's, it's that guy, and I made a, you know, sort of castle and honor. I don't know why I did. 